Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So over on the Warmer Community site, we've just had a posting about some new board games that are going to be coming out in the year 2021. And two of those board games are indeed dedicated to Warhammer 40,000. One is called Doomsday Countdown and the other is called Warhammer 40,000 Fireteam. So let's jump in and let's have a little look at them. So let's start with the first one we come across. This is called Doomsday Countdown. It says here age 12. Um, it's a 30 minute game. Uh, one to three players can play this according to the box art that is in the background now. Infiltrate the base, disarm the bomb and save the day. Um, it goes on to say fans of the Space Marine adventure and new players alike can look forward to a fresh entry into the cooperative board game series as three embattled Space Marines face off against a hive city swarming with chaos cultists to deactivate a cataclysmic weapon and perhaps even escape with their lives. Now, you can actually see um, the board game in the background and what you get, actually, they actually show us some of the stuff that's actually in the box. Um, uh, I put that on the background as well. Um, and I'm kind of disappointed. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I expected maybe they would put something flashier in there for Marines. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I, I expected like a chaplain or anything like that, but maybe some type of new posed Marine. Like these ones are just like the easy to build, like the push fit, like Marine models. There's nothing special about this. When I look, I like, like what AOS has been getting with their board games, like that, like that new vampire release that just happened at the preview, and like how awesome and how just amazing those models look for me as a 40k uh, for a 40k fan and for me as a board game fan that is what i want to see brought over to warmer 40,000 i want to see like the personality of those models attached to the board games that are being brought out by gw instead for for, for warmer 40,000 it just seems that we're getting just a normal intercessor uh, and as you can see at the bottom some cultists as well and um, just slung in there and that's about it. It goes on to say, and maybe this is why they're actually putting these models in there. It says, Space Marine Adventures is a fantastic way to get younger players started um, on their own fortress into the 41st millennium. This game contains 10 push fit Citadel miniatures and easy to learn rules to ensure that um, even the novice players will be up and running within minutes with games taking 30 to 45 minutes uh, to play. You can squeeze one in while you're waiting for the known oil to dry. So maybe that's why they've included those models in there because um, they're just 10 push fit models and that's the only push fit models that we have at the moment but this is gw this is a multi-million pound company sure that they can design new push fit models um just for these board games to you know bring in a bigger type of sell to it and um, i do like the premise of the game i think the premise of the game seems awesome like from what i can see in the background now um it does look fun you know i would love to sit down and play this with my kids um and you know roll some dice and have have a little bit of fun um but it's just as someone who is a model collector more than anything i just like to see awesome new stuff and when i see aos in their board games i get all this awesome new stuff like uh, you know the, like i just mentioned the vampires um i kind of want that love um as well but it seems fun um yeah i'm probably picking this up to play with my kids and um you know have some warhammer fun Moving on to the next game, and this is Warhammer 40,000 Fire Team. Um, so on the box art, as you can see on the screen at the moment, um, it's for age 12, 45 minutes about it's suggesting for a game. And this is two players. This is a two-player game, the game of tactical squad combat. Uh, and it goes on to say, if the competitive arena combat in 41st Millennium is more your thing, you'll be glad to know that Fire Team features an all-squad-based alien shooting goodness you could ask for. Featuring a head-on clash between Space Marines and Necrons of the Indominus Crusade, Fire Team is both the perfect taste for Warhammer 40,000 Universe newcomers and exciting new spin on the classic Warhammer gameplay for veterans. Now, in the background, you can see the board and stuff. The board is definitely reminiscent of the like AOS games like with the hex based movement and stuff while well, the other one was hex based but this is kind of more that layout and there's cards there's dice um, the thing that instantly pops out is the models again uh, we have assault intercessors so these are kind of new models which is which is great um i do love the assault intercessors we've got some of the new necron models again which is great uh i think there's a scarab in there as well yeah i see two uh, pods of scarabs um but is it is it is it mind-blowing is it instantly saying i need this game in my life because there's like an, a, a so-called new war band that looks absolutely fabulous no it doesn't really have that it doesn't really have that drag into it what drags me or what points me towards it is that the space marines that's that's basically it from from my standpoint it has space marines and that's cool because i'm a space marine fan but um is it is it is it like a day one must buy i don't think so and i think gw are really missing 
out um, on grabbing that audience if they started to personalise these games with models. I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound like a drowned cat, bloody hell, I'll keep repeating myself. But yeah, um, really GW. Um, I love the idea of these board games. I think it's fantastic. But just please, just, just personalise the game a little bit more in terms of models and make it fantastic. This is what you are. You're a model company. This is what you do. Come on, GW. Do it for us. Make these badass 40k models, put them in these board games, and I'm sure they'll sell like hotcakes. All right, Chaperunios, I'm going to leave it there. In terms of release, I've read the icon. It says it's going to be coming out sometime next year. So, yeah, we'll probably have an update sometime. Um, probably, hopefully, around summertime. Maybe they'll be out by summertime. Who bloody knows? But, yes, there's no confirmed release date. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback on this. What do you think? Do you, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you agree with me that they should have more cooler-looking models? And I, I'm not saying the models are bad. Please don't take that. Like the, the, I, I like these models. I, I, I love the models. It's just when I look at, like, you know, that new vampire... I keep mentioning the vampire vampire ones because i'm so addicted to them because they look bloody gorgeous but when i see those models and then i look at the models here it's like they're missing out on such a, a big opportunity to really make these bloody board games really pop and really stand out um but yeah post it down below and we'll have a nice chat down there um about everything so see you then um have a great day and bye bye